What is going on everyone? In this video, I am going to break down your options when it comes to character movement. Going over ALS, GASP, and at the very end, some information on how I might be able to help you out. First up, and the most simple, we have state machine movement. This is where we have numerous animations for moving, usually in eight directions, forwards, backwards, left, right, forwards, left, forwards, right, back, left, back, right. And we blend between these animations based on speed and direction. This is the type of animation which 99% of the animations on the marketplace are set up using, and it's a simple but effective way of moving your character around. Almost all of you watching this video will be using this animation setup for your games as it's easy to understand, but most importantly, cost effective as it requires the least amount of animations. Next up, we have the more complex movement frameworks with the most popular being ALS and GASP created by Epic Games. Starting off with ALS. ALS was made by one person, but it is now a community system with no further updates. It works by using state machines for movement, a heap of blending animations, and inverse kinematics, which is the process of moving a specific limb to a specific area and having the bones following the chain react to this movement. The main concept works by having a state machine for movement and then blending in other animations for different stances, aim offsets, and poses. It uses inverse kinematics for feet placement and climbing or mantling. It also involves a lot of curves in the animation to get blending working correctly. I am no expert whatsoever at using ALS, but from what I gather, the animation requirement is relatively low as you're using the state machine movement as a base and blending in other poses. However, the main restriction comes from the animations needing to have a similar pose, as well as the heap of knowledge required to understand how the blending works. It is also worth mentioning that ALS is not multiplayer replicated. As for GASP, it's different to ALS in that it has a much more advanced movement set but at the cost of requiring an insane amount of animations. It works by using a trajectory trace to predict the next best animation for the character to play. It has mantling, but a less advanced climbing setup in comparison to ALS. I'm unsure if Epic plans to advance on this as of today. It's an incredibly impressive system as the movement is basically lifelike. The problem is that if you want to add in any other kind of movement set to your system, you will need hundreds of animations to make it smooth. Epic have created two sets so far. One is the default movement and one is the set as seen in Lyra. It is multiplayer replicated from version 5.5 onwards. Okay, so you've got all this information. You're probably still wondering what the heck you should do so let me lay out some rough overviews for you. Use ALS if you've got an animation whiz on your team that understands curves, understands blending, and you're happy with a base of similar posed animations, as you need knowledge and time over raw animation data. Use GASP if you're happy with one movement set, or if you're in a big team and can afford to mass produce animations and use state machines in all other scenarios. Hey, they work, they're simple, and you can always add in climbing and inverse kinematic footing to it. If you want me to fix all your problems, well, give me a minute of your time to tell you about my asset, the flexible combat system, and what it might be able to do for you. As most of you know, I'm the creator of the Flexible Combat System, a massive framework, it's super awesome, go check it out, link in description. But I want to take a moment to tell you about the direction we're taking the movement. The system is already set up with state machines for multiple weapon stances and attacks to go with each. 
One-handed, two-handed, two-handed light, main-handed shield, you get the idea. We have 367 animations in the project. This has inverse kinematics set up for footing, so the feet align with the ground and things are looking smooth. Most importantly, in the next month, we will be taking everything that is good and manageable for an everyday game developer from ALS and GASP and throwing it into the system. First, we're going to be throwing in GASP, which can be used as the default movement when you're moving around unarmed. Because of the lack of animations for weapons, when you switch to a weapon stance, you will then run the default state machine. Depending on how things go financially, I will be looking into providing a full GASP movement system for every weapon stance, but that's future talk, as that is a lot of animations. I will also be including all the mantling and climbing included with the GASP system, allowing you to climb over objects. We will also be providing a blend option for using GASP with weapons. However, this is far from perfect this has been included just to give you guys every possible option. So, for movement, with a flick of a switch, you can swap between state machine movement, GASP unarmed plus state machine movement, or full GASP movement with blending weapon movement. All three of these options, including the climbing from GASP. But that is not all. We will also be adding in additional movement options, swimming, ladder climbing, and actual cliff climbing to really try and push your character navigation to where you can move around freely. In terms of timeline, we're hoping to have all this included in the next two months. And of course, this is just the beginning of the updates. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to check out the pack. And if it's not, no problem, I wish you the very best with your game development. My name is Beardman, thank you so so much for watching, I will see you in the next one, and stay tuned for more updates. Peace!